Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage. Today we are here at St. Clair Antique Mall in Fairview Heights, Illinois. We're gonna head on inside and see what we can find. This is pretty cool. It's actually this glass reindeer, like little trinket dish, and it's $15, a little bit more than I'd like to pay, but it's just so unique. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it in the cart at least. Ooh, that's really pretty. It looks like cloisonne or cloisonne. It's enamel on metal, and they have here Israel written. It's 18. That's really lovely. Well, this is a good one. So we have here $7 for the milk glass sugar dish, and it is a covered sugar dish. Now, there would also be one that came with it that was similarly, similarly sized, has have a little spout. But we've got the early antique milk glass. And they also did this in other colors, like blue, but this is great. The There's scroll work, there's a little bit of the old original gold on there still. And $7 is not bad at all. It feels nice. I don't see anything wrong with it. So I'm going to pick that up and put it in the cart for $7. I like it. All right. I've got a little bit of green depression glass there and some birds in a dish some strawberries lots of little figures maybe some of them are occupied japan many of them are regular japan oh look at the baby with the egg seventeen dollars fifty that's really cute i haven't seen that before most likely it's made in japan I'm just like really in the Christmas mood or something, but we have all these nutcrackers. This one is $10. I like the green on it and everything. I don't know. It's very tempting. He has like a little stick in his hand. He is going to go out and forage for mushrooms. And then you got this little Asian guy. Okay. I don't know. Eight dollars, that's not bad at all. Hmm. I just don't think there's a ton of age on them. Your paint's kind of screwy. So, okay. Well, maybe I won't. I was also thinking about over in this other booth. I looked at it off camera. There are these planters here. This one here is made by Palmar, or no, Parma, Parma, Japan. And it's like just under $20. It's kind of on the edge for me. And then there's this other one. This is Relpo. I love Relpo. This one's $18, $18.50 for that one. And these candles are cool too. They're $10. It's just, meh. Not a whole lot to get excited about as far as price, but this is really great. This is an old print, and they did reframe it, though. On the back, it has a Michael's, like, you know, Michael's craft store. They did a good job getting picking an old frame for it. Or maybe they brought them the frame. I don't know. But $41.50. It's not too bad at all. I'm just, I don't know. What is this thing? Oh, it's a single bullet shaker. Looks like a... Art Deco skyscraper kind of four dollars. Be cool if they had the other one. There's the green one up there. Three dollars fifty for that one. And then some random ornaments. Okay, let's get back to the there's this cool Yadro tree. They have 125 on it. There was a smaller Yadro tree in one of the cases. That was about $90. But, mm, I don't know. Now, I bought stuff out of this booth before. Oh my gosh, this is just like National Lampoon. Or, or, what's it called? Christmas Vacation? Although it's missing, unless they have them stored somewhere, all of the little blades that should go at the top of it. We have one of these at home. I'm excited to put, her, put ours out for the season. This is pretty neat. So... It's kind of like Bristol glass, but it's a little bit heavier. This is milk glass with the ivy painted on it. And I'm 
thinking that it might be made by Consolidated Glass Company, which is a glass company that did a lot of stuff around the turn of the last century, in the, around 1900 or so. Consolidated, Consolidated Glass Company did a lot of lamps, and they did biscuit jars, and vases, all kinds of things. So this was, um, how much was this darn thing? $17. Hmm. It's very cool. The ivy is nice on there. I will not though. Oh, look at the pretty cranberry cut to clear. That's nice. I have been doing not so great this entire time. I've really, I've really been through the majority of this mall. So we have a little bit more to go through here. So we might get lucky and find some interesting things that are good prices. Now here's some black amethyst down here. These are neat. I cannot read the tag because it is under it. Okay, $21 each. Yeah, it has the wonderful Greek key pattern motif right along the edge there. And that is a black flower frog, the round top, it comes out of it. And so your flower stems can stick in there like that with the water in the vessel itself. There's also this orange and black, very neat. It's reverse painted similar to Czechoslovakian glass. That might be made in the U.S. at some place, maybe in Pennsylvania, but it's from around the 20s, 30s era. Yeah, we just have those two things in the basket. It's pretty dismal. Okay, so I found a little herd of Anna Lee dolls, and look at this one with this candy cane. Oh, that is adorable. How much for you, little guy? $9.95. <gasps> this is from 1965? Or maybe it's... Well, I see an 88 at the end, so this is probably from 1988 then. Oh my goodness, I love that because of its candy cane self. We're going to get that one. We got an angel. Oh, for $10.95. We got a little tooth. This is from 94. Should we get? Probably. There's this little guy reading his book or singing a song. That's from 88. That's $9.95. Look at that. He's making a face. Do we want to get that one? See, it's, at this price, I'm like, hmm, I don't know. Do we want to do we almost get them all? Is this guy in his stocking? Oh, he's in his little hat. This is $10.95. It's from 1990. Does he come out of there or is he just stuck in there forever? I guess they st sewed him in. Well, that's tempting. Maybe I should get that too. And look at this with his muff. Oh, that's adorable. This is from 89. <gasps> My birth year. Oh, I love that one. $9.95. Well, suddenly it's all coming up. Mice. Beautiful. We love it so much. Get in the basket. We love it. Yes, we do. Get in the basket. Oh, yes, we do. Look at her halo. Oh, my. Get in the basket. I love it. Okay. So, well, see, I feel bad whenever I do stuff like this and I leave two. This guy, he is standing on his tennis rackets for $12.75. Well, why so much? I don't know. Do we want him because he's standing there like that? He doesn't know how to play tennis. Yes? Yes? Yes. Okay. This one has this candle. Oh, Grandma with her candle. $9.95. Granny, you gotta watch her. Sometimes she will get frisky with that candle. Oh, I just love these old tins. This one's made in England, and look at all the great angles. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. This is made by the metal box company yeah boy i like it's ten dollars um which is decent i could deal with that um they don't do amazing for me but i just can't help picking them up they're just a fun thing to have so I, i'm getting it this is the same booth still with those anna lee dolls so 
Let's see if they have anything else I want. Oh, I kind of like this trinket box. It looks like a chest. It's glass. Oh, that's clever. It's a little dusty. Once I clean it, it would look beautiful. Maybe the price is less because it's dusty. Can you be cheap for me? $11.95. That is acceptable. It, it, it is acceptable. I will... Oh. Wait. Oh. No. There's a little chip on there and I'm not appreciating that at all. So I won't. Stupid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, hope, I don't want its feelings hurt. Um, eh, don't want that. There's a dog. This is $38. This looks like 1920s, 30s. Doesn't it just? It's from Denmark. Oh my gosh, it says just on the bottom. And I just said that. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's funny whenever words work out for us. And there's some other powder dishes that we don't want. And we'll keep going. These are so beautiful. So there's a pair of these little Venetian glass bowls. And my goodness, I love them so much. This glass, and I've sold, or I don't know if I've sold it yet. Eh, anyways, I think I have. But this one in blue is so beautiful though. It has the latticino, and that's what you can see there. All those white like twisted lattice work looking things. And then we've got the blue ribbons also spinning around. And then there's even some gold venturine on the bottom of the footed piece back there. $20 each. I think we are at about a third of the price on both of these once I wash them. They're a little dirty, but not bad. Um, I just, I just love them. I, I'm going to check them over to make certain that they're in good shape. Ooh, there's a jewelry box, jewelry casket back there for $14. That's really not bad. That's a large one too. I have tried selling those in the past and they just don't really do that well for me. So I'm not going to even bother either, even though that that's really cool. There's a Higgins glass ashtray in there still. This has been here for a while, but I'm going to get those two art glass bowls and they have written on their Murano and that could be it's it's definitely good quality glassware. I'm just going to check them over because look at the edges of all those. It kind of like, it. I don't know how, how to explain it. It has, it's different. It's very good. I like it a lot. Oh, and here we have a little ca canoe. It's a souvenir canoe right up front here. And I've seen this in milk glass. So I believe this dates around the 1900s early. So I, I would say it's EAPG, early American pattern glass. Uh, for that souvenir and they call it souvenir because it would have had writing on the outside of it in gold most likely and that has just worn away because it's a smooth surface but i am going to get into this booth no, or case number 301 here's a another murano bowl they have 30 on that one and then this asian uh, console bowl with the figure in there that's always nice Franciscan Desert Rose, teacups, lots of them. Okay, so I got both of those bowls. They were $20 each. So that's very good and acceptable. And I'm getting ready to check out Roseville, $50 firm. This is looks like a tin, but it's ceramic and it's heavy. It's been here for a long time. Okay, I think we're gonna head up front, which isn't very far away. Well, in the end, we did it well. You know, I got all those Anna Lee dolls. I mean, that was really great. And some interesting glassware, just so good. So I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.